Hi guys, uh, it's me Andre Ng and uh, yeah, I know it's been a really long time since I've made YouTube videos So what I'm going to do today in this video is that I'm gonna like uh, show you guys how you remove um, this Okay, so this is basically the connector to the throttle position So uh, today I have the throttle position of the W211 chassis uh, It is compatible with the W203 as well Because as you can see on uh, the throttle position, I mean the throttle pedal itself You have part numbers like A211 or A203 Okay, so you know whenever you come When, when you buy a W211 and it has you know a throttle pedal with the A203 uh, code, you know, you don't have to worry because uh, they are basically, you know, they are interchangeable, right? Okay, so very simple. When you install this, uh, you have to read what is written on, you know, the the socket. So you can see numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, you have to go incline. You have to incline with uh, the the wordings, you know, uh, written inside the throttle position sensor. Okay, so let me increase the brightness a little bit and uh, let me just show you guys. Okay, so on the right hand corner, you can see uh, the right upper hand uh, pin is number one. So it goes one, two, three, and bottom four, five, and six. Okay, so I'm gonna just like plug it in. It, it is a direct fit, okay? So basically, I'm putting it in the correct manner. If uh, you ever fix it wrongly, uh, like what I'm doing right now, uh, basically, you would have a bit of like a bit of trouble trying to like push it in because it is a proper direct fit, right? According to all the pins. So uh, when you fix it in, it is basically a very, uh, very clean, uh, a very direct push in method, okay? So the thing is, a lot of people when like you're you're at the footwell of uh, your car, you know, and you're trying to like replace your throttle position sensor because um, given the fact that your car is in limb mode, you know, and you 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 plug in a scan tool, you get code P zero one two zero, and uh, you 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 think that you should replace your throttle position sensor, right? Okay, so a lot of people when you're under there, you know, and you feel like this part is like really difficult to dismantle. Okay, very simple, right? So I'm I'm gonna show you uh, how you get this off. You push this connector, right, and then you come to the other side, and uh, you see this connector over here. You push it as well. Okay, so now all you need to do right now is that you try to like uh, just work your way out of the. Of the connection, okay. I I do admit, like it's it's really difficult to do, even do it now. You can imagine like crawling under there to like just like you know plug it out. Okay, so now I got it out, and um, so that there, there I have it, guys. So that's how you remove the connector from the throttle position sensor. But another thing is that uh, normally you would have like another like. Uh, another screw here right so how you remove this is with the 10 millimeter uh, wrench you know whatever we call that I mean I happened to make this video because like I found this uh, throttle position sensor connector in my car you know I think this was the old throttle position uh, connector so I think my car probably has been having like a lot of TPS issues even back in the day uh, you know, when, when people have like a W211, they tell you that, oh, my car suddenly lost power and I have to like uh, pull over, you know, and restart the car, you know, uh, when I was losing power, it shows like ESP defective, you know, and uh, basically I was stuck in a, a, a certain gear and Mercedes cars are actually quite, uh, they're, they're quite a nuisance at times because like they always go into learn mode, you know, they they think that their cars are safer in that way so when they detect like a certain fault with the electronics or the systems you know they uh, they, they, they basically 
put your car into a fail-safe mode and it reduces drivability so a lot of people with a Mercedes you know they'll tell you that uh, you know sometimes this car you know gives you like a bit of a bit of I call it a bit of trouble at times you know and some people would laugh at you you know because you have to pull over and you know clear some fault codes take off thing or for my car's case uh, what, what I've been experiencing is that my car uh, when it started in the morning, you know, basically it will come to, you know, the meter will say ESP defective and what happens after that is that the car, the, the, the engine stalls. So I have to like uh, check my car using my uh, mobile phone scan tool and I basically remove any codes that are there. Sometimes like it is always the throttle position sensor code. Uh, and I, I, I think it's there because uh, Basically, Mercedes reduces the functionality of your TPS. You know, uh, it's not really that your TPS has issues. Uh, because why I have this extra TPS is that my car always came up with uh, code P0120. And, you know, to be honest, I don't think that many people really know the diagnostics here. So, when they see that code, you know, they remove, they, they, they replace their throttle position sensor and uh, they don't solve anything some people say that if you get that exact code you change your throttle body or probably you clean your throttle body for that matter so my, my practice in the morning is such that i plug in my key and i switch it I, I i turn the key to the second position where you have like as a series mode okay so i leave my car i leave my car key there for three minutes you know to let the throttle body re relearn you know to, to learn its opening position and after that I plug out the key I start the engine and uh, it runs well so I I'm not sure you know I have like a, a, a bad EGR you know I also have like uh, a bad O2 sensor I'm not sure if I have to replace my O2 sensor or uh, can I just like clean the O2 sensor you know uh, making it a straight point like a lot of people a, a lot of mechanics in uh, Malaysia you know sometimes like they replace parts more than they tell you to clean parts I mean of course from that perception right yeah the thing is that when you come across the P0120 code you know don't think that you have to change this thing I mean I've seen people you know they get they, they get like a replacement throttle position sensor for like their crossfire or the SLK and when they get in a new TPS the car runs fine you know at least for that video I'm not sure about how the car behaves after that you know I I, I see people you know who have who have the same issue as me like they they have this uh, TPS code they uh, they change this thing the TPS and it doesn't work you know then they go and clean their mass airflow sensor they even clean their throttle body the car runs fine after that uh, good for them but the thing is that for my case um, I, I do have to clean my O2 sensor yeah so that's a, a, a bit of work to accomplish but anyways uh, I hope you enjoyed my video today so I'll, I'll try to come up with more content as soon as possible and yeah see you in my next video